Knoxville. Swim nationals for NAIA this year are in Knoxville. The following day. Uh, hey y'all. Um, okay, so. Gira a la izquierda. That's what I was gonna say. Oh, my GPS is talking to me. If you wondered what that sound was. Um, but anyhow. Um, sorry. I curled my hair. Oh, that's saying this battery is dead. I don't know if I can reach my other one right now. Um, so I'll go. If this dies on me, then I'll try to reach my other one. It's just in my backpack, which is right there. But oh, now you turn on your turn signal, dummy. Anyhow, en tres cuartos de milla, gira a la izquierda. I um, I'm headed down. As I said, I have to stop on campus because of the um, uh, graduation thing, and then I'll be headed to Tennessee to surprise God. I'm so excited. He has no idea. Okay, so that just died in the middle of my sentence. Um, and then I tried to turn back on to quickly just finish what I was saying and it said charge the battery and that's all it would say. And I was like, oh, of course. So anyhow, um, I was able to reach my other one safely while driving. Um, otherwise I wouldn't have done it and you guys wouldn't have been seeing me for quite some time. Anyhow, um, I got the other battery. It says it's fully charged. We'll hope. Um, cross your fingers. Um, but anyhow, so I'm headed down there. But as I said, I have to stop on campus first for um, the graduation thing, then I'll be headed to Tennessee. I am very nervous, and I thought he was on to me, but I think I, um, kind of, like, threw him off. I don't think he has any idea. I'm really excited. Um, when we go, I'm going to be hanging out with his parents some. It's not his extended family. I may not vlog a whole lot there. I might try to get some footage of him in the pool, but that would be about it. What you'll mainly be seeing is like behind the scenes stuff, like when and I getting ready and stuff like that, just because I don't want to have a camera in his parents' face when they're not used to that, you know? Um, I feel like that would be kind of rude and disrespectful when they're there to support their son, not my YouTube channel. So, um, but I will try my hardest to have my camera in my hand and on and ready for when he sees me so that you guys can see his reaction. That was my biggest goal was to um, get his reaction of when he's making noises if you order for those. He's very excited, watch. Winnie, are you excited? Are you gonna go see your dad? Are we going to see dad? You're gonna go see your dad? He is so excited, he's been so excited. Last night I started telling him he's gonna go see his dad today. Look at him, he's looking around everywhere like, where is he, where is he, I will see him yet. Yeah, you've been a long way, buddy. You've been a long drive. But um, he is so excited, I'm excited. Julia, my really good friend, I don't think I really talked about her much, um, but she's also a swimmer and she's been the one really helping me plan this thing. She's excited. John's mom's excited. He'll be excited when he sees me. So, yeah, but I'll keep you guys updated. For now, we're just on the road on the way there. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know Okay guys, don't make me chewing gum my um, ears for going in the mountain popping and whatnot So I decided to chew some gum Um, uh, but anyhow I stopped at campus Here's the negative side of life again that I always say I'm going to keep you guys updated with Because I feel that that's part of the responsibility of a vlogger is to show people that it's okay to have negatives in life and that life isn't so full of positives all the time. Um, so anyhow, Turf Johns didn't show up. So I had to order my cabin gown, didn't get it, had to order it so that I could have it later. Um, it'll be shipped to me at home. <sighs> yeah. And they couldn't order my graduation invites either because Herf Jones didn't show up. Wow, thanks guys. Um, and the people at the bookstore, which were running it, like at the UC campus bookstore, said they had called them about six times in the last hour, and I think she said about 15 times almost total. Um, so, can I just say that's ridiculous that they're not even picking up their phone, let alone showing up on time on the day they said they would be there. There's 59 days of graduation. Students kinda need to know what's going on and all that good stuff um but yeah so the real update is i am 30 miles out from surprising john 
<laughs> he has no idea. I turned off my location services for her, him. Sorry, babe, love you. When you're watching this video, you were the only one blocked. I didn't turn him off. My phone wasn't glitching. I turned them off so you wouldn't know. Sorry, I love you. Um, but yeah, so I turned the location services off so he wouldn't see them. Um, that I wasn't, that I'd gone past the Berg. Um, people on campus call it the Berg because uh, we go to school in Williamsburg. So we call it the Berg. But anyhow, yeah. So the last update he saw was that I was in the Berg about 30 minutes ago. But now I'm about, oh, up to 25 miles. So I'm about 25 miles out. Julia, when I'm about there, or like when I'm pulling into the parking lot, I mean, I'm going to text her. Um, I have the address of their hotel, I'm not saying the same one that they're staying in, in my phone. And I wouldn't want to stay there. I'm just saying it. I would not want to stay there because like every single swim team for this competition competition is staying at that hotel. That would be way too many people. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, buddy. I ain't doing that. Right, Winnie? We ain't doing that. Oh, he's sleeping. Okay. Anyhow, um, still about 25 miles out, and then I gotta text Julia, and she's going to text John and say, John, urgently, I need you in the lobby. I need your help with something, so that when he comes down there, I'll be standing there with her. So, and Winnie. We'll both be standing there. I'm so excited. I'm hoping that she'll be willing to vlog for me. So you guys can kind of see, but that's the update for now. I'll see you when I get there. You guys can see I just went past the big Knoxville sign saying we're pretty much downtown, and it says I've got 500 feet whoop, after I turn left here. But like, I must have gotten here right after the turn signal changed because it's been a little bit. And I'm waiting, and I'm waiting, and I'm waiting. And the people in the other lanes, the straight lanes, were fine, and then now these people over here are turning. So that'll probably be a little bit, but like, <gasps> I'm almost there. <laughs> I'm so, like, I'm nervous because like, this is a really big city. Um, sorry, when, um, he wasn't expecting me to break. <laughs> um, so like, this is a really big city and so like, it's kind of nerve wracking, but at the same time, this is the kind of place I'm going to end up for grad school is a big city like this. And also it's just nerve wracking because I don't know where I'm going. Oh, I found it. Oh, this, this place is huge guys. Oh my gosh, okay, I gotta find a place to park. Hey guys, so you didn't get to see me surprising John. One, Julia was getting ready because they banquet in like an hour, so she couldn't, um, well, it's in an hour now, um, but she couldn't come help me vlog, and I was trying to get it out so I could be standing there waiting, like showing you his um, faces he got there, but I didn't get the camera out and turned on in time, and he was already there and he had already reacted, so, but he was super surprised. He kept saying, I can't believe you're here. How did you how did I not know? And I said, oh, I hinted at it for the past week just to see if you'd pick up on it. And he was, how did I not give you those? So it was cute. Um, now Winnie and I are gonna go check into our hotel and then I think I might run to the local store um, just to get like a two liter and some snacks so I'm not like buying meals all the time and I just have something in the room. So, but yeah, we're gonna head off and stop now.